And when you breathe in, the breath sweeps through the body. And when you use mindfulness, you're trying to sweep that through the mind. In other words, remember what you should be doing and what you shouldn't be doing. And always keep that in mind. This is very important, because sometimes we get caught up in the moment and we forget. Or sometimes we think that, well, whatever comes up in the present moment must be trusted. Well, it can't. A lot of greed, aversion, and delusion can come up, and they, they use the delusion to hide themselves. And so you have to remember there were times in the past when you were deluded. You'll learn a lesson from those so they don't make the same mistake again. This is why it's important to remember mindfulness does mean keeping something in mind. You have alertness to be aware of the present moment. But without mindfulness, you're just kind of mindless. Anything comes up and you're not really sure whether it's good or bad, or you just go with your intuition. Well, your intuition has lied to you in the past as well. So this is why we have to be mindful. Keep the Buddha's words in mind, keep our own experiences in mind of what's worked and what hasn't worked. And use that to sweep through the mind each time the breath comes in, each time the breath goes out. Because there will be other thoughts coming in besides your initial thought about staying with the breath. And anything that's going to pull you away from the breath, you just sweep it away, sweep it away. When the mind gets cleaner like this, then you can see the little things you didn't see before. So it's a combination of mindfulness and alertness working together. That's what enables you to make a real difference in the mind. So we got the mind to be with the breath. So it, as we're sweeping through, we can do this with a sense of ease. Otherwise, there's going to be a feeling that, well, I'm not getting what I want out of this. I'm looking for pleasure and I'm not finding any pleasure. Well, here's the pleasure of the breath. That gives you something to feed on while you keep sweeping away, sweeping away. And don't be surprised that if you know, greed comes today and it comes back again tomorrow after you've swept it away. Sweeping away is not the same as uprooting things. But at the very least, when things are swept away, you know when they've come back. If you don't sweep things up, it's like a house where the, no one's keeping any, making any effort to keep it clean. And dust comes in, you don't know how much dust came in today because it's all piled up with the dust that came from yesterday and the day before. But if you keep sweeping away, sweeping away, even the least little bit of dust comes in, you're going to notice it. And you're going to be able to do something about it. <laughs>